The first model that we want to look at is economic order quantity model or EOQ model. Economic order quantity model assumes that there are two large portion of cost. The first one is holding cost and the setup and then setup cost. Holding cost is increasing as the order quantity increases and it is represented by Q over 2 times H. And setup cost is defined as D over Q times S and uh, D is um, annual demand and S is setup cost and Q is the quantity of the order that you are dealing with and Q over 2 is average quantity multiplied by uh, the handling cost per unit. And if you add them up, you have this uh, graph uh, above in red and the total cost equals uh, this uh, set of costs plus holding costs and that gives you the economic order quantity model. So, um, and you have to understand that the optimal point where you can minimize your um, cost of inventory co uh, management is when uh, these two lines are intersecting and where this total cost is the lowest here. So this point is the lowest point and this is called the economic order quantity uh, EOQ. So I said that uh, EOQ is the point where this handling cost and set of cost are intersecting together. So you set this uh, set of cost and uh, um, handling costs together and solve for Q, then what happens is you can find your EOQ, economic order quantity, which is Q star equals square root of 2 times D times S over H. And uh, over inventory level is Q over 2. And uh, if you um, uh, add them up, you will have a total cost. Let's solve an example together. Sumco uh, pump company. This company sells housings to other companies and uh, um, it wants to reduce the inventory cost that they are incurring and uh, uh, after research you found that the annual demand is 1000 units and ordering cost is $10 per order and average carrying cost per unit per year is 50 cents and using this information we can you know, find the set of cost and the uh, 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 carrying cost and eventually economic order quantity and then total cost. So let's see EOQ first. The EOQ equals square root of two times annual demand times and uh, annual ordering cost, which is CO, and divided by CH, which is average carrying cost per unit per year. And uh, if you just plug those number in, then 1,000 units go here and $10 there and the $50 is divided by that and take a square root of that, then you get 200 units for EOQ. This is economic order quantity model. In other words, when you are order at a time, you want to order 200 units rather than five units or 10 units or 400 units. If once you find the Q star or EOQ, you can find the total cost. So um, you plug those numbers in and uh, instead of Q, you uh, plug 200 in there, then you find that uh, uh, it's 100. The total cost is 100. And I want you to understand that um, the, the uh, carrying cost and ordering cost are the same. So 50 and 50 because this is the point where these two costs are intersecting. So it's the same point. So Q are the same and that's $100 in this case. And uh, what is the number of orders per year then? That's uh, annual demand by the EOQ. So an annual demand is 1000 and your EOQ was 200. If you use that, uh, the annual number of orders is five times a year for this business. Average inventory is Q over 2. Uh, so Q is 200 divided by 2 gives you 100. Uh, so you can find various information once you uh, calculate your EOQ. Now let's consider reorder point. Uh, reorder point is next decision 
to order, right? So when should I order my uh, inventory again? That's a reorder point. And it's a time between placing an order and its receipt. Um, and uh, that's a uh, uh, lead time and uh, the delivery time is affecting a very important role uh, in reorder point. And uh, let's see this graph uh, to understand it. So uh, depending on the lead time, I don't, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, so here's a lead time, say it could be seven days. If it takes seven days, you know, before it uh, uh, deplete your inventory, you want to order seven days in advance uh, so that uh, uh, you are not going to experience a stock out for your inventory or business. So uh, reorder point has a very close relationship with the lead time and how many uh, the, the daily demand that you are uh, uh, considering. Say daily demand is one, and uh, your real point, it, the lead time is 10 days, then 10 days in advance, you have to uh, order the economic order quantity so that it will arrive at the right time and uh, you, you will not exper be experiencing your stock out. So um, how do we calculate reorder point? ROP, reorder point equals demand per day times lead time for a new uh, order in, in days. So D times L it would be your reorder point. So daily demand times the lead time is the formula. And let's see uh, this example. Annual demand is 8,000 uh, 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 units and daily demand was 40 units and delivery in three working days. So we know the daily demand is 40 units and uh, the delivery in three working days. So the lead time is three. Therefore, we can um, calculate ROP equals D, daily demand times the lead time. So uh, 40 units of daily uh, units per day times three days gives 120 units. So therefore, uh, you know, what you have to do is that when your uh, inventory hits 120 units, you have to order 200 of EOQ so that uh, that, that that will minimize your total uh, inventory management cost, and uh, you will not experience a stock up for your inventory or business, and uh, it will arrive in three days, 200 of them, right? So that's what it means by this reorder point. Your reorder point is 120 units, and uh, you have to order it three days in advance, and that's what, what it is.